we hear his voice. John 10 verse 3 To him the porter opened, and the sheep hear his voice, and he called his own sheep by name, and lead them out. He calls us by our names. When multiple flocks of sheep become blended, there is no need to worry. The good shepherd will call out to his sheep, and they come directly to him because they know his voice, and will not confuse his voice with other voices. Yes, there are many other voices, but we know the one and the only voice of our shepherd, our Lord. Psalm 23 verse 1 to 6 The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be poor. He make me to lie down in green pastures, he lead me beside the still waters. He restore my soul, he lead me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. You are my rod, and your staff comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of mine enemies, you anoint my head with oil. My cup run over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. As God's people, we often become mixed up in things of this world too much. We should teach ourselves to listen more on the voice of our shepherd, our Lord. Instead of being consumed by the systems of this world. God always talked to us, but we do not hear his voice because we are busy with the things of this world. Then we get into troubles and attracts problems in our lives for not listening to God, whose fault is this? But even if we get into troubles for not listening his voice, he still tells us how to get out of those trouble. In most cases we are able to hear his voice when things are not good. But when things are good, we do not hear his voice because we focus more on the things of this world and neglect him. God is always watching us and talking to us. He loves and care about us. Hebrews 13 verse 5 I will never leave you, nor forsake you, said our shepherd, our Lord, and our God.